Last year was hell. <laughs> On some days, I could do no work. On other days, I just wanted to lay in my bed and cry. My doctor asked if I'd like to speak with a mental health professional about my stress and anxiety. Mental health? I clammed up and violently shook my head in protest. I felt a profound sense of shame. I felt the weight of stigma. I have a loving, supportive family and incredibly loyal friends, yet I could not entertain the idea of speaking to anyone about my feeling of pain. I felt suffocated by the rigid architecture of our African masculinity. People have real problems, Sangu. Get over yourself. The first time I had mental health, I was a boarding school student, fresh off the boat from Ghana at the Petty School in New Jersey. I had just gone through the brutal experience of losing seven loved ones in the same month. The school nurse, concerned about what I had gone through, God bless her soul, she inquired about my mental health. Is she mental? I thought. Does she not know I'm an African man? Like Okonkwo and things fall apart, we African men neither process nor express our emotions. We deal with our problems. We deal with our problems. I called my brother and laughed about Oyibo people, white people, and their strange diseases, depression, ADD, and those weird things. Growing up in West Africa, when people use the term mental, what came to mind was a madman with dirty, dreadlocked hair, bumbling around half naked on the streets. We all know this man. Our parents warned us about him. Mommy, mommy, why is he mad? Drugs. If you even look at drugs, you end up like him. <laughs> Come down with pneumonia, and your mother will rush you to the nearest hospital for medical treatment. But dare to declare depression, and your local pastor will be driving out demons and blaming witches in your village. According to the World Health Organization, mental health. It's about being able to cope with the normal stresses of life, to work productively and fruitfully, and to be able to make a contribution to your community. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and our social well-being. All of us, but we Africans especially, need to realize that our mental struggles do not detract from our virility. Nor does our trauma taint our strength. We need to see mental health as important as physical health. We need to stop suffering in silence. We must stop stigmatizing disease and traumatizing the afflicted. Talk to your friends. Talk to your loved ones. Talk to health professionals. Be vulnerable. Do so with the confidence that you are not alone. Speak up if you are struggling. Being honest about how we feel does not make us weak. It makes us human. It is time to end the stigma associated with mental illness. So the next time. You hear mental. Do not just think of the madman. Think of me. Thank you.